Okay, adventurers, today I... Oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay, adventurers, today I... <sighs> Guido! Will you stop firing lasers at distant planets, absolutely obliterating their entire populations? Um, sure, Steve. Sorry. I was a little bit bored. Thank you. Anyway, today, adventurers, I... Oh my gosh! My name is Steve, and this was my robotic companion, Guido. Once more, he has been turned evil. And this time, he wasn't destroying one tiny little city, no. He was destroying an entire planet using laser beams, UFOs, and even other planets. That's right, Guido will not stop until there is nothing left of these planets. Now, did you know I have a special planet ready for any adventurers that go ahead and hit the like button in three, two, one, now? Look at it. It's so beautiful and shiny. Don't you just want to live there? Well, Guido, here it is. This is my home dimension. As you can see, it's very pretty. Ooh, it's so round. So shiny. Beautiful. Hey, man, I'm glad you think so. Now, after the last time we went on an adventure. I decided that I wouldn't take you to my original home dimension, but rather to a replica. This is a simulation. So if there are any more incidents today of you turning evil all of a sudden, then it won't really matter. Of course, it will matter to the 7,788 million people that live here. But hey, it's a simulation. It can't be real. Right? Oh, Steve, please. I'm sure that absolutely nothing is going to happen. Um, Guido? Once more, Steve, my dark energy shall be unleashed onto this dimension. Holy cow, dude! Well, that's terrifying. It looks like once more, Guido has been hit by a meteor this time and turned evil once again. This is why I don't go outside. Behold, Steve, once more I have an entire catalog of powers to play with. Like, for example, what is this? It kind of looks like a fancy exercise ball. Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and find out. Oh my gosh, it's some kind of cyber bomb. And it just went directly into what area of the planet is that? Is that Europe? Yep, I'm pretty certain it just went straight into... Oh no, Europe's up here. So what the heck was that? Europe, Asia, America, it doesn't matter to me. This dimension shall be destroyed by infinite exercise balls. No, Guido, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, he's turned like half of the planet into basically molten lava. This is, oh, this is insane. Those cyber exercise balls are absolutely terrifying. I mean, look at this. They're all just embedded into the world. Guido, okay, you've had your fun, but you've literally just killed 5,111 million people in about what, 15 seconds? Okay, Guido, I'm fairly certain. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. I'm fairly certain that you've proved your point, okay? Holy cow. He's brought down the population from whatever it was at the start to 546 million, which is still a lot. But considering how it was at the start, it's really, oh my gosh, really terrible. There's only 19 million people remaining. And look, he's looking for them. He's spinning this entire simulation around, looking for the final few people. And oh gosh, I think he may have found them. Zero million people people remaining. And oh my gosh, he's still going. As I was about to say, this entire planet has basically been turned into a giant molten ball. This is probably going to take a really long time to clear up. Oh, don't worry, Steve. I planned for that. Like whole time. Oh my gosh, I... <gasps> Oh my goodness. So Guido not only just turned the entire planet into a molten ball, he has now absolutely ravaged it with a black hole. I Oh, there's a second one. Fantastic. I Oh my gosh, it looks like a chicken nugget. The planet right now literally looks like a chicken nugget. I... It's actually making me quite hungry. Ah, well, that took me a very long time, but I have successfully rebuilt the Earth. Don't ask me how I did it. I just have a lot of free time, I guess. Thank you for providing me with a fresh canvas, Steve. 
Let's see what this laser beam does. I... Oh my gosh. That's actually quite fun. Okay, so now he's using the earth for target practice. This is absolutely insane, dude. I... Oh my gosh, he actually managed to destroy that entire continent a whole lot faster than he did last time. Look, Steve, it's not all bad news. Here's a smiley face. Oh, thanks, Guido. That makes me feel a whole lot better. Oh my gosh, I think he literally wants to reduce this planet in size. He is actually carving it all the way down here. This is, oh my gosh, this is so bad. There's going to be nothing left of the Earth by the time he's finished. In a few more seconds, he will completely have burrowed his way all the way through to the other side of the... <gasps> Oh my gosh, he actually did it. Are you kidding me? Whew. Okay, so once again, I have fixed everything up. Welcome, friends, to your new home. Wait, what? Friends? What are you talking about? I... Oh my gosh, Guido, you've launched a UFO attack on the Earth. What's going on? I... Oh my gosh, look how fast those aliens just completely nuke the Earth. I... 5,677 remaining already? Jeez, dude. But what he doesn't know is that there is actually a clone of the Earth. Look at that place. That looks like an exact replica, right? It's like one big continent or something. Okay, this is good though. Only 3,644 people actually managed to survive the move. But yes, remember adventurers, please don't tell Guido. What the heck is that? Oh my gosh, I think. Oh dear. Is this like Cthulhu's planet or something? Oh, I've clearly angered him and oh, he just took a chunk of this planet away. He just took a chunk of Earth too. Hey, Cthulhu family. It looks like we've got a new toy. Wait, what? Cthulhu family? I, oh my gosh, that is a lot of Cthulhus. There is like a ring of Cthulhu surrounding this planet right now. I, oh, I can't even see a thing. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my goodness me. Look how many Cthulhus there are right now. This is absolutely insane. And they are just devouring every side of the planet. They're all taking a chunk and... Oh my gosh, like half of it is missing. This is absolutely unreal. It's completely gone. Like, <laughs> I think even the Cthulhus are going to go hungry. Jeez, just how many Cthulhu babies did that Cthulhu baby mama pop out? I mean, seriously? Okay, perfect. It looks like this is the only location where Guido has not found. This is excellent. Mars is now set. What was that? I... Dude, was that a freaking moon? Oh my gosh, that is a lot of moons. How many moons does Mars even have? Because right now, they're all coming crashing down into the surface of it. Oh, that is so bad, dude. But at least, at least it's over for now. Whoa, Steve. What the heck was that for? I... Whoa. What the heck happened here? 